if you take a container with oil and you vibrate it vertically up and down, then you can get droplets of the same oil walking on the liquid. And this was first demonstrated back in 2005 by Eve Scooter. Uh, so what we have done, which is new, is we have vibrated the bath at two different frequencies. And what we find is that by doing that, we can get droplets that are bigger to walk, and they walk much faster than the walkers. Another interesting thing with that is that if you take many of these droplets, these big droplets, which we call super walkers, then you can get them to interact with each other and form some really rich, novel, dynamical behaviors. So if you take, let's say, two of them, and if the vibration is quite low, then you can get them to stick to each other almost. So they'll be separated by a very thin L layer and they'll walk in a straight line. And then as you tune up the volume or the vibration amplitude, they'll start oscillating sideways as they walk. And then at very high vibration amplitude, you can get them to follow each other in a straight line. And if you have many of those droplets, then they'll form this beautiful crystal-like structure at low amplitudes. And then as you increase the driving, the crystal will start jiggling. And further increasing the driving will disintegrate the crystal, but the droplet will start colliding with each other like billiard balls on a pool table. So in the experimental setup, we have a, a subwoofer speaker cone and a bath on top of that, which is mounted. And what we do is we put in the silicon oil in the bath and then the speaker is connected to a frequency generator. So once we put in the frequencies and I use a volume knob to tune the amplitude and then I increase the amplitude and um, reach the values that I need for the experiment and then I use a needle, put it in the liquid and then flick it to create the droplets. It's definitely a lot of craft involved in that and I've kind of like <laughs> I've kind of like developed that skill through creating lots of droplets. Back in my undergraduate fluid class, my supervisor showed me the video of these walking droplets. And the, the thing I find really interesting about these droplets is that they have been shown to mimic some of the quantum behaviors. So you have this macroscopic example of something that is a droplet, which is like a particle, and then it creates a wave. So it's, in a sense, a wave-particle duality, um, which you can see. So because of that wave-particle duality, you can get some funky behaviors that happen to mimic quantum-like features, which is really fascinating. So what was done before was that um, you take the liquid bath and you vibrate it sinusoidally up and down at a single frequency. And what we were trying to explore at that time is we found that uh, if you drive a bath simultaneously at two different frequencies, what that allows is that allows those bigger droplets um, to walk very fast. We didn't intend to um, choose the correct frequencies. We were just like playing around with two frequencies to see what new behaviors happens when you drive the system at two frequency. And um, while playing around, I found this, that these bigger droplets um, suddenly start walking and that captured me and then we investigated it in more detail. So the frequencies that we are driving at is a frequency and half of that. So for example, 80 hertz and 40 hertz. So you need that subharmonic frequency, which is exactly half of that to get the super walkers. Now, if you slightly detune from that, so say for example, 80 and 39.5, then you'll get this stop and go motion where the droplet will walk for a while and then stop and then walk for a while and stop. So it, it turns out that due to this slight detuning, you get a beating which causes the droplet to periodically walk and stop and walk and stop. The reason I'm so excited about this problem is, first of all, it's, uh, it's a beautiful problem just visually. So even when you are doing experiments, it's, it's really visually beautiful. <laughs> That's the first motivation. And then the other is that there's this system which is both a particle and a wave. And uh, it, it has shown to exhibit some interesting behaviors. So it could give rise to some more interesting stuff with super walkers now, where we can explore a new regime um, where you can get bigger droplets to walk much faster.